As the old saying goes, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one, and they all stink. And that is certainly true when it comes to professional wrestling. It's not a phenomenon unique or exclusive to professional wrestling and professional wrestling fans by any stretch of the imagination. But professional wrestling and its fans certainly are not exempt from it either. And you see it all the time. You see all types of opinions that just absolutely, totally, completely stink. Just like a-holes. It is what it is. I do it. You do it. We all do it. We are no different. Not unique. Blah, blah, blah. However, there are those opinions that stink a lot more. There are those opinions that just really rank up and stank up the environment, the world, the bubble of professional wrestling. And what I'm talking about specifically is that biased kind of narrow-minded, narrow-sighted view where only one type of wrestling, one type of style really seems to matter. It's the only type of style that your hardcore fans seem to really gravitate to, which, <laughs> ironically enough, is also the type of wrestling that draws the least overall interest and viewership and mainstream exposure. Because those hardest of hardcore fans are incredibly disconnected from reality other than their own. They look at it from their own kind of selfish worldview, their selfish bubble, and say, well, this is what I like, and that's all that matters. There's nothing wrong with liking what you like. Where the problem comes in is where you start to share that worldview of professional wrestling to the point that it starts to permeate throughout the wrestling fan base where it becomes the only standard and all the while business goes down. And of course, public enemy number one when it comes to all of this is Dave Meltzer. There are a lot of things you can say about Dave Meltzer. True, untrue, factual, opinion, biased, all of that. You can have all different types of opinions when it comes to him and all of them could be appropriate, could be fitting, could be accurate. But there is no question that this man in his four plus decades of being a wrestling journalist has had a significant sizable impact on the landscape of professional wrestling, specifically when it comes to the fandom, the fanship of professional wrestling. To try and minimize that is being disconnected from reality. To try and minimize that discredits one of the truly greatest workers in the history of professional wrestling. When you think about guys in the world of professional wrestling as workers, how is Dave Meltzer not at the top of the list? He's making six figures and takes zero bumps just talking about wrestling and having other people feed him news and inside information. And this guy, now in his 60s, who sits there and has these blazing biceps because of all the beating off he does to New Japan and fucking AEW matches, sits there and seems to have as much sway as anybody outside of the immediate wrestling bubble, even though he's as much of a part of the wrestling bubble as anything in terms of the business itself. Like he has all of this sway and this influence and it's been damaging, very destructive. Let's be clear on that. But we also have created this environment where we've held him up on a pedestal that is not necessarily merited, certainly not deserved, like you can respect or you don't have to like what he's done, but you have to respect it like it is what it is. A lot of people on the interwebs wish they could make six figures talking about pro wrestling. It's like, don't hate the play, I hate the game. But I'm seeing all of these fans ranting and raging yesterday on social media because of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards and all of the different categories. And it's like, the fuck is wrong with everybody? Who cares? If you are surprised by now 
that a biased bullshit artist like Dave Meltzer would have a following of a few thousand biased bullshit followers who therefore portray a biased bullshit view of professional wrestling. They are not the problem. The problem is you. Why would you get so out of touch and out of sorts with the reality after seeing the results of these different awards being made? This should not surprise you in any way. Of course it's going to have an incredible slant towards AEW. Of course it's going to have an incredible slant towards J Japanese wrestling. That's Dave Meltzer. And the hardest of hardcores that prescribe to his bullshit, of course they're going to feed right into that. But what I don't understand really truly is this is where you talk about the vocal minority is overwhelming the vast majority. What I really need help understanding is why so many people are raging about these awards that like 1,500, maybe 2,000 people voted on. Who the fuck cares? Like, why is that such a big deal? Why is that such a problem? That such a small sliver of even the hardest of hardcore wrestling fans voted on these stupid ass awards that carry no weight, that are insignificant, that mean nothing in the grand scheme of things because they are a sampling and nothing more and a sampling that is heavily skewed towards one biased bullshit view of professional wrestling. Why in the hell would you put so much weight into it? Why? Well, the answer seems quite obvious. Because when one Mark has his awards that other similar like-minded biased bullshit Marks vote on, it's going to recognize other biased bullshit Marks in the world of professional wrestling. Gee, imagine that. And you've got AEW pumping up these freaking Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards like they're a big deal irrelevant in any damn way whatsoever. Tony Khan was Booker and Promoter of the Year. Really? Can't even average one million viewers consistently, but he's the Booker and the Promoter of the Year? Again, disconnection from reality. Like, that's not even close. That's not even close to true. Like the best booker and promoter, even though you want to talk about how bad a lot of it is, and that is true, the best booker and promoter is Vince McMahon because he's the one making by far the most money. That's the measurement. That's the gold standard. That's what matters. But not to the biased bullshit Meltzer marks of the world because they think things like work great, even though they don't know what the fuck that really means. Even though they think matches and moves are what matter instead of storylines, character, and emotional connection and investment. Like you're gonna let these couple of thousand people sit there and be presented as like their opinion matters or that everything that they say is right or accurate or appropriate? Like stop getting trolled here. Like any organization that would sit there and say that Kenny Omega was the most outstanding wrestler of 2020, what the fuck have you been watching? The hell are you even talking about? Seriously, you could look at award after award and it's either New Japan bullshit or it's AEW bullshit, which comes from a guy like Dave Meltzer who is friends with all the EVPs in AEW who is friends with the people in New Japan, who you could say whether directly or indirectly because of access and other things, that he's basically, for all intents and purposes, on the AEW and New Japan payrolls. And if he's not officially, he's unofficially. And goddamn, you can sure as hell say that bias clearly shows. So you're going to be surprised when all of the awards go to those guys? When there's a significant WWE or other wrestling slant? The problem is that Meltzer or the marks that prescribed it is bullshit. It's you! You're getting easily worked up by something that is infinitesimal in its importance. It's incredibly small. Incredibly irrelevant. 
which is ironic and appropriate because of the viewpoints of those that vote on those stupid ass wrestling observer newsletter awards help represent why professional wrestling is in the goddamn shape that it's in. And it doesn't have nearly the mainstream interest or exposure that it once did. It doesn't have the name recognition, the star power. It doesn't have any of that. It doesn't have the appeal, any of that. Because for far too long, that Meltzer mindset has creeped up through professional wrestling. And the marks that used to be outside of the business now got all in the business. And Meltzer sure as hell is not going to ruin his gravy train because he could be... He can sit there and be comic book and butt buddies with the young bucks and Kenny Omega and all these other asshats. And they can feed him the information. He can feel cool. And he can geek out to when and mark out when they name their finishers after him and all this other dumb, irrelevant shit. Like the voters of Wrestling Observer sat there and said that Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, was the most overrated character, the worst character. Huh, maybe he was. But I wouldn't put too much stock into that. Like, have they watched AEW? Have they watched other people on Raw or even SmackDown? Like, that's the worst? Really? That's the worst you can come up with? Now, you can certainly point to something like, they said that Raw, by far, was the worst wrestling TV show. Oh, it is! And I think that's something that everybody would agree with. So that is representative of the larger thing. But, you know, when you talk about like John Moxley versus Eddie Kingston being the feud of the year, you're just a fucking idiot at this point. Like, how could you be so biased and so narrow-minded in your view and think that this crap, that objectively in a lot of cases is not very good, is now somehow great? I mean, come on, people. Wake up. The only reason that these awards are relevant in any way, shape, or form from the Mark Rag, ran by a Mark, and subscribed to by the Markiest of Marks, is because all of you react and make it so, when it absolutely should not matter, does not need to matter, does not have to matter, but the reason and the only reason it matters in any way, shape, or form is you! Imagine the fucking surprise. Dave Meltzer's Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards recognize a bunch of crap and dumb crap at that from New Japan and AEW. You gotta be really dumb to be surprised at that. The only thing that would be surpassed in its stupidity is to sit there and put a lot of stock into it or especially rant and rage about it. My ranting and raging here is towards the idiots that are given this credence or putting any value behind this whatsoever. And when you see AEW tweeting it out and talking about it and celebrating it, like that just tells you what's the score here. That tells you the game that we're playing. And if you can't see it, then you are blinded by your own sheepishness and or stupidity. Might as well call them the AEW NJPW Awards from now on. Give me a fucking break. So the next time that they do this, just like the irrelevant ass PWI Top 500 list, a mark list done by marks, stop putting so much stock into them. Who cares? And if the marks in the business want to beat off to where their rankings and where they fall, so be it. But they, again, will just be a representation of just what is wrong with professional wrestling today. And the fact that so many of you have raged about 1,500 to 2,000 voters in some stupid, arbitrary-ass, meaningless awards is also a representation of everything that is wrong with wrestling. You are giving credence and significant weight and importance to something that absolutely deserves none of it at all.